Well, hello and welcome to Vloon Day 3. I'm all hot and red because I've been doing stuff and it's really hot outside, so I got the fan going above me. But I wanted to show you guys, I just got the mail and I got Coffee Break Planner stickers as well as I got two watches from this company that I actually found on Instagram. So anyway, let me show you. All right, so here is the stickers that I just got from Coffee Break Planner. I literally just posted an Instagram on these. So I just thought these were super, super freaking cute. So much fun. And I'm like kind of mildly obsessed with this. I hope this will, yeah, okay, so it's focusing. Come on, focus some more. These are little stethos stethoscopes, I can't talk, with little paw prints in them. So they're like perfect for, you know, vet visits and things like that. I just thought that was cool. Silverware, just some basic scalloped things. And then, she just came out with these. These are like a new release recently, I think a couple of weeks ago. And they're just, you know, these cute little flags and very functional, but also, you know, decorative. Very decorative, very fun. And let me show you these watches that I just got in the mail. I'm so, so excited. All right, are you guys ready to look? Dun, da, da, dun. Here it is. This is the watch that I got for myself. It's got a really pretty champagne face. And these are, I think it's, you say Yode. It's not Jord. I thought it was Jord, but it's Yode. I'll um, link them below if you guys are interested. But I just thought this was so pretty and unique. And these have wood bands, which is what they're known for. Hence the wood case. Um, there's a bunch of stuff on the inside of this, which I won't show right now. Ugh. Come on, little thing. And then it's got this cool little pull-out shelf in here, which is kind of cool, like a little drawer of all your things. So that's kind of cool. But I'm mildly obsessed with this. I'm not wearing it today because I'm gonna be painting and I don't wanna mess up my nice new watch. So that's what I got for myself. And I also got one for my brother because I thought this was totally him. I had him check out the website too because I was like, well, I think these are really cool and I think he would really like this. And he said, yeah, absolutely, these are really cool. So he picked out this one as his favorite. It's got a different wood than what I have and he chose the one with the black face. Um, it looks like you can move this, but you can't move this, but it's just like for decoration but it looks really neat. I actually just sent him a text with it and I'm like, hey, this is waiting for you in Minnesota. So anyway, I'm really excited about these. And again, I will link the website below. I thought this was really cool. I got a lot of happy mail today and I got a bill, but we're not gonna talk about that. All right, I'm gonna go paint and I will see you guys in a little bit. So we just got to the house. My mom noticed I have a little plant waiting for me with my name on it. One of my lovely neighbors gave me a little housewarming gift. That's so cute. So I would figure I'd show you my progress. Up above here is the laundry room and it had like that big sign that said laundry with those, I don't know, adhesive things. My mom is having fun over here. We're trying to figure out how to remove this stupid thing over here. Oh. I think you have to take the pipe out and then, Oh. Okay. I don't know. That's weird. I don't know. I told the original homeowner to take that down. He never did, so whatever. Uh, Mom is very diligently taking off all of the switch plate covers and things. I so. got screws I took out of the wall. Woo! <laughs> They're going to the garbage can. She's having fun with that. And then now I am in the bathroom removing the bath time sign because I don't need a label to tell me I'm in the bathtub. So yeah, I mean, I'm all about labeling things, but come on, I just, I can't handle it, so. I'm almost there. All right, so remember this little contraption? Well, these big ass screws, if it will focus, were in this pipe. It's like a, I think it's a PVC pipe. Hold on, focus camera, there we go. Well, we tried to fish this out of there and there was a big screw in the way, so now both the screws are out of there and we're trying to get it off of the wall without completely ruining the wall. So, wish us luck, wish us luck. And this thing, I don't know what the heck's going on with that. I think my dad and uncle are gonna try to get that off. But oh what happened is they actually paint, they it put it in and installed it, and then they painted over it so the paint adhered. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, my mom is the Hulk. Look at that. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Look at that big white strip. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, mom's ripping up everything. Get the spackle. <laughs> okay. We're gonna need the spackle. This is gone. Oh my goodness. My mom's so muscly. All right. Yeah, sweet. 
Garbage time. Yep. <laughs> All right, so there's my mom hard at work. We are almost all done with the prep, so all of the um, green tape that you see. She's just working on this last window and then is going to just go across these boards real quick. But the floor is all done, all the outlet covers are done in the hallway and in both of the bedrooms. So this has taken a little bit longer than not really expected, but you know, just takes a while to prep. So I think what I am gonna do now, since all the green is on there, is take a little bit of sandpaper and sand some of these little hole fills to just, you know, get some of the junk off of there for more prepping. So I don't think we're actually gonna get into painting today, but that's all right. There's more days for that. Huh. So my mom just reminded me that I may or may not have actually vlogged my rug that I got at Target last night with her. So let's go take a look at it. I'll look back in my footage and actually see if I did it. I don't know if I did. So we are in my master closet. So let's take a peek at it. This is the rug I decided to go with. I will leave a link below if I can find it on the target.com website. I just thought it was nice and neutral. And to be honest, there is some tans, there's some grays. On the camera, like the viewfinder, this is coming off really purple, but it's not, it's gray. And it also has some like really light olive green in here, but it's not like overwhelmingly green. So this is actually what it is. It is the Threshold Area Rug in the natural gray. It's the five by seven. And I think it was on sale for, I wanna say it was like $65. Um, this was obviously repackaged. Someone had obviously either purchased it or it fell out of the packaging at some point. And then I also got these as well, cause I'm actually gonna put this downstairs, but the flooring's gonna get done down there. And these are those little stay in place adhesive things. Cause I don't really want a rug pad with it. I just want like a little sticker. So it's not flying all over the darn place. But yeah, it's about four o'clock and now we're deciding what to do. So what do you wanna do? <gasps> <laughs> I, I haven't even had lunch yet, but I don't know. Oh, I had lunch because I couldn't wait. Yeah, she couldn't wait. The dog was very excited about her lunch selections. She eats a sandwich, so he's like into the lunch he meat. He likes my turkey sandwich. He didn't get any meat today, he doesn't though. Doesn't get much. Yeah. Oopsie. No, but too what do you want to do now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need more tape. We need more tape. Yeah, but I ran out. We yeah, we ran out, but we got everything okay. taped for upstairs. Downstairs, they're still like the official painters are still doing work down there because they removed that wallpaper border downstairs, if you guys remember. But there's a guy coming back and there's some like patching to do, so I don't really want to do anything down there until they're like done with down there. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I guess you guys will find out in a minute, huh? Okay. We could tape the front area. But I don't know if they need to do any work in the front area, though. Like, oh. if they're just going to tear down what we're going to do. You know what oh. I mean? Okay. Like, okay. that's what I'm like. Because okay. he said he was going to be working in that area, the guy. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Never mind. So he said where the border was. There's a guy that's going to come work here tomorrow. Um, I just need to let him in at 9 a.m. when I'm going to be here tomorrow. So, spoiler alert. <laughs> All right, so I'm mom, and this is Emily. She didn't have lunch, so she's like starving. Starving. So, so go ahead, Emily, do your thing. Okay, so I ordered these. You can pan down. Oh. So I ordered these Ooh. as an appetizer for us to have or me to have. They look good. They're delicious. However, here's the issue. Like when I hold it, it like it's they're hot on my fingers, but they're not hot on my mouth. So I decided to be really sophisticated. She's you know, got it all figured out. Yeah. Oops. Get do the dip get, and get the, the little beer, dip. It's in the beer cheese. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good stuff, this is Maynard. Some sophisticated shit, you guys. I know. I know. <laughs> she already dropped stuff on her painty pants too. So that's okay. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. You improvise. You gotta improvise life, you guys. So we got we got the meal coming yet too here, so but Ooh. whoops. That's a long one. Sorry, I missed that one. Mm. Okay. This is good stuff. So mom decided to get some fish. No, it's chicken. Oh, it's a chicken? Yeah. Oh, it looks like fish. Yes. Alright, it's chicken. Alright, so chicken. Chicken and quinoa and um, 
pickles. Oh, that looks kind of delicious. Um, that's gone. And then <laughs> I got the, some fish and chips, which look delicious as well. So we're gonna start grubbing down. All right, so my mom and I are back after our lovely dinner slash my lunch slash dinner at Applebee's. But I wanted to show you that we did the whole entryway. We just taped. We're not gonna do any painting today because it's just too much of an undertaking. So let me flip you. The painters is right there and then the rest of it is ours. So we just did all the little taping around things. Um, the ceilings are popcorn, so there's no tape up there right now. And someone actually asked me in today's vlog if I'm gonna leave the ceilings popcorn. Yes, I am just because it is so expensive to remove them and such a hassle that I just don't care enough to do that at this point. Maybe they'll change someday, but if they do, I will tell you. So, um, we did all of the surroundings. I am not going to be painting the doors the same color as the walls like the previous homeowner did. I'm gonna bring them back to just white like they were before, so that'll also happen at some point. And then we've got all the stuff around. And let me take you upstairs because I'm not sure, oh, we did the hallway as well, but um, the bathroom isn't gonna get touched yet. Dun, 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 let's go upstairs. So upstairs, we've got the lofted area is all done. This is also gonna get whitewashed as well. And then we've got the little loft area up here in the full hallway, all in green. Looks like Kermit threw up in here or something. And then the master bedroom is all done. In the closets, we're not doing anything. They're just like the builder's white from original, you know, building. But you know what, they're in pretty good shape and I'm just gonna leave them the way they are because maybe someday I'll actually do like a specific closet system, but just not yet. So I'm just gonna leave that. And then this is all taped up, ready to go. And then in the guest room, we've got it all taped and ready to go. The only issue that we have is I've already sanded that, so that's good to go. But this thing needs like, I think like a socket wrench. So I think my uncle hopefully can come over sometime this upcoming week and remove that because I don't wanna start painting in here until everything is good to go and all patched up and sanded and just ready to rip. So anyway, that's it for here and I will check in with you guys in just a little while. Right, let me turn my sound machine off. All right, so that is gonna do it for Vloon day three. I've got my Outshine bar. Mm-hmm. Delicious as usual. I still have like grit all over my face from sanding, but I'm gonna wash that off in just a moment. I have one more load of laundry going tonight, and I just confirmed with my friend tomorrow that we are meeting up in the morning, and then we're gonna go to Ikea. So I'm gonna get a dining table, but um, I won't actually set up my dining table until after my floors are done. So really it's a box that's just gonna sit in my driveway, or not driveway, my garage for a little while. I might get a couple of other things, I don't know. I wanna look at some other things too and just like check out the quality, because Ikea has amazing things, but sometimes the quality isn't there. So. I like to know if I can either get it at Ikea or maybe if I have to spring for something a little bit more expensive, but I'll check that stuff out tomorrow. So I will take you along for my Ikea run. I'm gonna be going with my friend Amanda and I believe her daughter Olivia is gonna be coming with too to give her expert design opinion. So we're gonna meet at the townhouse tomorrow and then we're gonna go to Ikea from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed Vloon day three and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.